hospital in northern Israel has been treating seriously wounded Syrians, including children, brought over the border as fighting between rebels and government forces in Syria continues. Several uh, dozens of uh, uh, civilly uh, wounded uh, Syrian uh, citizens uh, have been admitted in this hospital. Uh, around the near to 60 uh, and up to date. And uh, of these, uh, a large number of uh, those uh, wounded were uh, had uh, different forms of uh, head injuries. Uh, most of them were uh, admitted because of penetrating head injuries, meaning either shrapnel or a blast or a gunshot wounds. Jerusalem has declared a policy of military non-intervention in the Syrian conflict, but has allowed humanitarian assistance such as medical treatment. Nearly 200 Syrians who have been wounded in the fighting have been taken into Israeli hospitals since the uprising against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad began in March 2011. Some injured Syrians, however, are not brought into Israel, but rather receive treatment at the border between the two nations in the Golan Heights. The Israeli army has stepped up patrols in the area since the uprising in Syria began over fears that Islamist radicals fighting to overthrow Assad could attempt to recapture the Golan, land which has been under Israeli control since 1967. A United Nations peacekeeping mission has been stationed on the strategic plateau since the 1970s, but has in recent times been under threat due to the growing danger of spillover from the Syrian conflict. For now, the Golan remains largely quiet, apart from the occasional mortar shell straying over from the Syrian side. Medical assistance to wounded Syrians looks set to continue, with the identity of the patients remaining closely guarded, so they will not be in any danger when they return home, where hostility to Israel remains high.